everybody, my name's Amanda and welcome back to my channel. I make mummy and lifestyle videos over here on this channel and this week I thought I'd share with you how I'm changing at our writing station now that my twin girls have just started school. So we've had a little writing station in their playroom for a little while and now they've started school I want to make sure that it's really set up for them so that when they come home they've got a space where they've got all the bits and bobs that they need for anything that's been brought home from school like homework which I'm not sure how much they're going to get in reception but we'll see and also just so that they've got all the resources they need so that they can carry on the learning they're doing at school at home in a fun way without it feeling like too much like work so lots of mark making and letter practice and um, drawing on different papers in different ways so that they can consolidate what they've learned at school really. I'm going to just take you along with me as I clear out their old writing station, put in some new bits and bobs and show you what it looks like. I went to a couple of like bargain shops yesterday and picked up a few bits just to add to them now they're in school. I picked up some of these foam grip pencils because sometimes holding a pencil can be a little bit tricky and just makes it a little bit easier for small hands and they come with a little rubber on there which is also nice and lovely and bright colours which I like. I also picked up these colourful ballpoint pens, um, a 10 pack for £1.49, again nice and bright coloured and nice clicky so lids are not going to get lost as well so I like that. Another thing I'm going to add is I had this but you could very easily pick one up from eBay, just a dry white board and um, a sort of dry white marker pen and I've got an old cloth that I'm going to put in just again so that they can draw or write and erase as and when they want. One of the things that these are really brilliant for is for children who are maybe less confident writers or children who don't like to get things wrong. I've definitely got one of those types of children who um, won't, don't like putting pen to paper or trying to write their letters or write, trying to write their name because they're afraid to get things wrong and so or want something to be absolutely perfect. So a dry board is brilliant for that because they can do it again and again and again, rub it off, no one actually needs to see it other than themselves and they can just do it until they're happy with it if that's what they like. So I'm going to add one of these to my writing station too. So this is what it's looking like at the moment, you can see it's quite messy. Um, it's got some bits and bobs in there that I will keep and things but I just want to clear it all out and get started so that it's all organised ready for the new school year. So here's where I'm up to right now. I've taken out all the bits that I want to keep. I've got the bits on the floor that I've bought that I'm going to add and a pile of rubbish that I don't want anymore. I did think that I'd add a bit more paper or different options and things to write on so I've been upstairs and found some plain paper that I've just cut into smaller pieces because I find if you get them huge pieces they'll just waste it anyway and some just plain paper coloured paper as well just to make it a little bit more interesting and I also found some little note cards things that I had that I'm not going to use so I thought I would pop those in as well as another option for them. These are some little cards that I've made. I got this idea off Pinterest and basically I've written the girls' names in a pen with little dots and arrows to show them how to form each letter and then on each line below one letter gets taken away so that they can practice how to write their name. These have been really useful and Emily's really good at writing her name now so I'll keep these in here for now and Jessica's got one as well. She still needs to practice a little bit more her name but so that would be useful for her over the coming weeks. I've got a load of pencils that I'm going to pop back in. So I've done a selection of pens. I've got one of these nice ones which changes colour, which makes things a bit more interesting. And, and a few nice ones. This one's like a little maze one. So some pens can go in there as well. I'm going to add in some lined paper. And those papers I was just talking about. So some coloured paper and some plain paper and some note cards. And I've also got a little bit more lined paper there as well. I've got a few different types of crayons. I've got these nice plastic crayons they're called. And you can sharpen them. And they're quite nice and they seem to last quite a long time. So I'm going to pop those in. And I've also got your typical pencil crayons as well. I have intentionally left out felt tip pens because I can't handle felt tip pens when they're unsupervised. Um, I'm going to pop in some post-it notes that I had because they're nice as well. So I pop those in here. And to play with got a couple of these dry wipes, a highlighter, I might go and see if I can find a couple more highlighters. I am going to put a glue stick in, just one, little one, 
because I think for homework and things they might need to stick things into their learning journey or something like that. I have some notepads that I bought for Disney and that we didn't use so they can just go in as well for another option of something to write on if they want to. There's also I've got these little mini ones that they've picked up so again they're going in. Some other random things. Oh I found these there's a mini envelopes. They're like are they mini envelopes? I'm not sure. I think I picked them up from Home sense or something like that for like 100 for a pound but the girls absolutely love envelopes because they can then write a little note and then po like put it in and then post it to each other or post it to me so envelopes are really nice and they're good to, to stimulate their motivate them to write i got given this little set of like it's got some things where i've got wiggles and letters on and you can practice doing practice copying some of the letters so I'll put that in there as well and these were in the Peppa, Peppa Pig magazine I think some stamps again they like pretending they're actual stamps got a little ruler and a big ruler so I'll put those in too oh, and a pencil sharpener I like these kind of pencil sharpeners that I've got a case at the bottom so we don't get pencil sharpenings everywhere and I'm going to pop a calculator and I don't think they'll really use that much but that's an old one I've got Here you are, here's the finished writing station and it's just going to live on this little table that we've got in the playroom so that the girls can sit and do some writing or drawing when they get home from school or do homework as and when they need to. I hope you found this video useful and you've got some ideas for making a little writing station of your own in your house. If you're interested in videos like this then don't forget to subscribe and click that like button and I'll catch you next time for more content coming your way soon. Bye!